So how to calculate the hand type? Well, we're going to need to first have an array for ranks and then have an array for suits and we're going to go through and we're going to count up how many of each rank there are and how many of each suit there are. So for hand as card so that's going to go through each card sorry, for each hand as card color sign ranks sub card sub rank field plus plus and dollar sign suits sub card sub suit field plus plus and to make this work I have to initialize these values so for rank equals zero, rank less than rank count, rank plus plus, ranks sub rank is zero, and then same thing for the suit. And then for now, I'm going to just echo a pre tag and then print our ranks and print our suits and then close off the pre tag so that I can see the scores. So let me go back here and hit reload. And for ranks, I have, this is ace, deuce, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one seven, eight, one nine, ten, jack, two jacks, and one queen. And then for suits, I have two clubs, two diamonds, one heart, and no spade. So I'm getting the right information in here. So now we can start calculating what our actual hand rank is. I'm going to leave this here for a while for debugging purposes. So first thing we need to know is whether we got a flush. And we just need the suits to, to figure that out. And we also need to know If we have a straight, and we just need the ranks for that. And let's also figure out if we have a royal straight. And then if we have this information, we can start checking to see what our final is. So the highest hand is a royal flush. So if flush and royal, then we have a royal flush. Otherwise, and then here we have to start doing some other stuff. So I'm going to come back to that. So let's calculate whether we have a flush or not.
And this is actually really easy to calculate. Basically, if any of the suits have five cards, that means we have a flush. So return array in, sorry, to be in array five in suits. That's all you need to do. So if any of the suits have five as the value, then this is going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. Um, but then straight is a little more complicated. So let's start with is royal. So return. So it's a royal if there's one ten, one jack, one queen, one king, and one ace. And ace is zero. King is 12, so 12, 11, 10, 9, and 0. So if rank sub 0 and rank sub 9, that's a 10. Rank sub 10, rank sub 11, Ranks sub 12. So if get a dollar sign there and a dollar sign here. So if this is true, we have 10 jack, queen, king, ace. And I'm also going to go ahead and say else return nothing. So now I know royal flush and nothing. Let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to cheat on my draw hand, and I'm going to set dollar sign hand equal to five cards. So ace of clubs, and that should be a 10 of clubs. Jack of clubs. Queen of Clubs, and King of Clubs. So let's go ahead and hit Reload. So there's my Royal Flush. Call to undefined function is Royal Straight. So what I actually need, I just called that is Royal in my code. So that's hand type. So is royal so undefined function is straight I haven't done that yet so I was hoping to avoid that for now but let's go ahead and do it anyhow and basically if it's a royal, then we're going to return true. So we don't need to repeat that test there. And that's going to make the rest of it easier. So we're going to do a loop for I equals zero, I uh, less than, and then we, we want to go the highest possible straight other than a royal is nine, ten, jack, queen, king. So we want to go I up to the rank nine, which is actually eight. So I less than nine. I plus plus, so that's the first card. And then we want to do five cards starting from I. So if it's nine, if there's a nine and a ten and a jack and a queen and a king, then we return true. If we go through the entire loop and we try ace two three four five, no, ace two three four five six, three four five six seven, four five six seven eight and so on. If we get all the way through the list, 
then we're going to return false. So j is 0, j less than hand cards, j plus plus, if ranks sub i plus j equal equal 0. That means that our straight is broken. And so if our straight this time around is broken, we want to continue this loop and check for the next possible straight. So we're going to continue here, which is the second loop, to continue two. Now, if we've gotten through this entire loop without restarting, that means we found a straight. So we're going to return true. And if we get through all of the possible straights without finding one, return false. So no straight at all. So let's go ahead and try this. Royal flush. And then let's try putting a three there, three of clubs. No pair, because it doesn't know about flushes yet. 